Lab TV travels to NAVC Carterock in Bethesda, Maryland, where the engineers look like they're playing with toys, but they're really building and testing models that could someday become ships in the Navy's fleet. We build scale models of the Navy's ships and submarines. It's much cheaper to build a model to test out a concept than to build something full scale. The models are a lot smaller than the real ships, and they need to be built to scale. Scale means that there is a size ratio between the model and the original object. For instance, Hot Wheels cars are 1 to 64 scale. The toy car is 1 64th as big as the real car. So if we have a ship that's 600 feet long, and we have a scale ratio of 20, we would end up with a 30 foot long model. So all of the features of the ship would then be scaled or divided by that same number. Before David and his team can build a model, designers send them a 3D computer drawing with geometric information about the size and shape of the ship. We then take that data and we decide how big the model needs to be and what type of fabrication method we're going to use. These are some of the materials we use in our model production. This is wood, this is actually pine, and it's a large block of wood that was glued up from smaller pieces. We use foam. It's especially good for lightweight models. This is another type of foam. This is actually a heavier foam that is very machinable. And we use this to make all kinds of different shapes as well as whole entire models. This is a piece of an actual model. It is fiberglass. Very tough material. It's very high stiffness. This started out as this fiberglass cloth material. We wet it out with resin. It was then put in the mold, pushed into the shape, and allowed to harden. They use a computer program to tell giant machines how to cut out shapes for the hull. They also create scale-sized parts to go on the models. This is an example of a propeller. These parts are scale models of the real thing. Because we can do these inexpensively, we could test five different variants of a propulsor like this very easily. After the engineers build the model, they install drives, gauges, and other instruments so they can measure its performance. Then the model is ready for testing in Carterock's huge model basin. The towing tank is hundreds of meters long. They even have a wave machine to see how the model performs in real ocean conditions. During the testing, computers, sensors, and cameras measure the forces on the model. For instance, in a propulsion test, we will measure things like thrust and torque. That allows us to know how big the engines will need to be in the full-scale ship. The engineers keep changing the models to improve their performance. Sometimes you may want to change the shape to try to increase fuel economy, save fuel, save money. The goal is to know how much power the ship will need and how it will perform in different maneuvers when it's in the fleet. Building models lets the Navy try out some amazing new designs. And once the model passes all the tests and every part has been refined, it might get to be built full scale and join the rest of the ships in the Navy's fleet. To find out more about scale, ratios, and ship models, check out labtvonline.org.